Final White Weekly, week 31. What? You know where I'm coming from, what? right? <laughs> yo, yo, I'm yo. coming straight out of Boston. Crazy mother named Bino. From the place of many a silo. Minnesota, where it's colder. If you drink and drive, then you get pulled over. You too, boy, if you're coming with me, get you a DUI in a jiffy. You gotta think. Use your cranium, bring a DD if you go to the stadium. Boston, we keep it real. The whole town is owned by like three people. We got Nords, Lapeers, K's, A and W, Dairy Queen, and Ace. Hardware, that's where you get your bolts. And if you need furniture, you can go to Meralt's. Go to Palubicky's for your food. And if you don't get the carry out, that's rude. Hit the theater, you can see a movie. They only show one, so don't be choosy. It's a great place to find religion. Seven churches, and all of them are Christian. If you want to feel good like a nice dream, hit the quick stop for some pro god ice cream. When you walk around, people stare, but it ain't because they're nosy. They just care. In the winter, it's cold like Klondike. I'd like to give a shout out to the only stoplight. It's a town you just can't get lost in. You know where I'm coming from. Coming straight out of Boston. Boston. Boston, Boston. Uh, now, when something happens in northwestern Minnesota, nothing happens because there isn't any news. You know? Bino White is the leader you follow. Second most famous voice next to Tom Lano. The Greyhounds went to state like 10 years ago, but we still celebrate. You don't like it? Drink some poison. We should build a statue of Kelly Roysland. How could you think it's not important? She was our white female, Michael Jordan. I put it down for the hounds like I put it down for the 13 towns. What, what? You can shove that New York Times up your butt. Yeah, you don't want to be a hater. We might throw you in the incinerator. Goodbye. See you later. We stand tall like the grain elevator. And there's a lot of other towns right by us that we don't like, even though they're just like us. Macintosh, Mac and Trash. See what I did there? You have to laugh. From the radio station to the liquor store, you can say that we are the small town with more. We the best. Can't nobody top it. If you forgot it, then Boston's got it. I'd like to give a shout out to the teachers and chiropractor Dr. Gabe Wiener. Legion, Field of Thompson. You know where I'm coming from. Coming straight out of Boston. Boston, Boston, Boston. City of Boston, city of Boston. Yo, yo. Now the song wouldn't be complete without telling you the story of Cordwood Pete. A lumberjack named Peter DeLang who stood out because of his frame. Four feet, nine inches, 100 pounds. Wow. Tried to start fights all the time in the town. But they wouldn't fight him, they liked him around. But they saw him as an obstacle. So the lumberjacks got the constable, Gus Holt. And he discovered that Pete was Paul Bunyan's little brother. They said, what? You're related to Paul? But you're so small and you're not strong at all. Pete said, it wasn't my fault. Paul ate all the food, it's how I evolved. But they started to tease him. Pete ran away, but Pete had a reason. He got on his donkey tamarack, went to Paul Bunyan's house and stole his axe. Swung it, but he kept going. Pete spun around in perpetual motion. Coasting, clear the forest. Everybody came together like a chorus. They said, yo, this is grand. You cleared a spot so we could have farmland. So Pete used his powers for good. His favorite thing to cut was cordwood. That's it, it's the end. I'm done talking. You know where I'm coming where from. Coming straight out of Boston, 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 Boston. City of Boston, city of Boston. Yeah.